G'day guys, my name's Nick and this is my channel Low Range Nick where I do videos about full driving, accessory fitting and maintenance for your full drive vehicle. So in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to change the oil and filter on your Isuzu MUX and D-Max. The parts you're going to need to carry out this job are an oil filter and some oil. So for starters we've got a Z929 Ryko oil filter and we've got some Penrite Enviro Plus 10W40. The first step we need to do is run the engine for at least 10 minutes or take it for a good drive, get the engine oil really hot so that all the deposits drop down into the sump. So if you do the service when the engine is cold, you won't get out as much of those deposits and as much of that oil as you would when it's hot. Because when the engine oil heats up, it thins out and you're able to get much more out of the system than you would if the engine was cold. The first step guys is to take the engine oil cap off. So we'll just undo that and we'll put that aside. Okay guys, so another thing I like to do when I'm changing the engine oil or doing a service is when I take the oil cap off, I'll pull the dipstick out a bit like this. So basically what the dipstick is telling me here that I pulled it out, that's a warning saying I have not put fresh engine oil in the engine. As soon as I fill that engine with fresh oil, I'll pop the dipstick back in and I'll know that I'm right to start the vehicle. So now we can jump under the car and take the bash plates off. We just need to pull this front bash plate off to access the sump plug, we can go through the hole in the back bash plate. Perfect. So I'm just gonna use an oil filter removal tool to come up in here, grip the filter, and then spin it anti-clockwise. So just keep spinning that until it becomes uh, finger tight or hand tight until you can loosen it with your hand and then we can slowly loosen it all the way off. So I've got my little oil drain pan just under here and you can see this little chute here. So this is designed so that the oil drips down from the oil filter down into this little bowl and then drains out of this tube. So now we'll just loosen it off that little bit more until it starts draining. So just have a rag on hand, ready to grab this filter if it drops any oil. And we'll just hold the filter upright as much as we can and work it out. There we go, just ease it out of there. Try not to drop too much. So most of that oil's dripped out now, so I'll just get a clean rag. And we just want to clean up the surface um, where that oil filter seals, just up in here. So we'll just give it a little bit of a wipe down. And then we can lubricate our new oil filter o-ring and put it on. So now I can just put my Z929 Ryko oil filter on. So I've just put a little bit of um, lubricating oil just around here. So I've just got some fresh oil from my oil uh, can and just put a little smear around this seal just so it's lubricated. So when I tighten it up it doesn't pinch. So now we can just put it up in here and screw it on clockwise. So how tight do you do the oil filter up? So with these spin-on filters, I always say just do them up as tight as you can with your hands. So I'm going to try and get two hands in there and just nip it up as tight as I can and then I'll be happy with that. Perfect. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a clean down just with some degreaser. For now I'm just going to clean it down with some degreaser and then I'm going to hose it down later. Now it's time to drain the engine oil. So the sump plug is just up here through this hole in the bash plate. So it's a 17mm sump plug. So I'll just get my 17mm um, socket on the breaker bar and we can loosen that. So anti-clockwise again to undo and these sump plugs unfortunately leak as soon as you crack them off so we'll just let that drain for a little bit I'll um, get a rag and then we can loosen it fully. So what I usually do is just sort of pass it around so you don't get covered in oil so you can pass it around a couple of times till it comes out Here we go. I'm 
and we'll let this drain for a bit till it's fully drained. So there should be about seven and a half, eight litres that comes out. So now that oil's all drained out, now I can just put my sump plug back in. So now it's time to fill up the engine oil. So I'll just put my little funnel in there and then we'll get the engine oil ready. So I'll just pour that in slowly. So the MUX and D-MAX take seven and a half litres of engine oil. So I've got a seven litre barrel here and I've got a little bit left over in another barrel. So just make sure you get enough oil. Unfortunately, if you do get a seven litre barrel, it's not quite enough. You just need that little bit extra. So I usually recommend having about eight litres of oil. And because we've got our fresh oil in there now, we can put our dipstick down and we can put our engine oil filler cap back on. The final step before we start the car is just to double check our work. So we need to make sure the sump plug's tight, make sure the engine oil filter's tight, make sure we've topped it up with fresh oil, oil filler caps on, and our dipsticks pop back in, and then we're right to start the car. So we'll start the car then, allow it to run for about a minute, and shut it off, and then we'll recheck the oil level. So now we've let the vehicle run for a minute and we've let it sit for about five minutes. All the oil will have drained down to the sump and we can recheck the engine oil level. First you just want to pull the dipstick out, clean it off. Then we can put it back in. Push it right to the bottom of the sump, clip it in and then pull it all the way out again. And on our dipstick now you can see a wet mark of where that engine oil is. So it's pretty close to the top, it might just need another 100 or 200 mils. So that's sitting pretty much spot on now, so it's right in line with that little eye there. So that's your full mark, and that's your empty mark. So between the two marks is about a litre, so if it's sitting on the bottom here, you'd add about a litre, and it should come up to the top. So there you go guys, the oil filter change and the engine oil change on the MUX is done. So all we need to do now is just clean down the engine bay, give it a nice gurney off, wash everything down, take it for a drive and then when we come back we just want to double check our work, make sure there's no leaks and happy days. So it's quite an easy way for you to save a bit of money at home doing your servicing yourself and it's not difficult so it's definitely something you can do with you know some simple tools at home and save yourself a bit of money. So if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more full driving, accessory fitting and maintenance videos. Cheers guys!